Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Saltex 2022. So, Saltex 2022 then. I'm excited. I'm always excited for Saltex. It is one of my favourites. I really enjoy going there all the time. It's probably the biggest mower showroom for two days in the entire country, if not all of Europe. So many brands all under one roof. Now, if you don't know what it's all about, I'll read their blurb from their website. I've printed all this out. Um, you don't have to print it out at home. You can just go on and have a look at their website. The links will be in the description below, okay? But let me read this to you. Now in its 76th year, Saltex remains Europe's largest free sports turf, amenities and landscaping trade exhibition with over 400 brands showcasing products in three halls across two days and at one location. That's huge, eh? Really huge. To show you how huge it is, this is the map, right? That's the three halls there across, across the top. And each one of those is a stand and those stands of mower manufacturers, grounds maintenance companies, seed suppliers, everything to do with the industry. They're all there, they're all there. And it is, it is a spectacle in itself. Now, getting there, it's at the NEC in Birmingham or just outside of Birmingham really. Plenty of transport links, trains, planes, buses, coaches, huge car park if you want to take your car as well. Once you get there, hop on the courtesy bus, round to the main entrance, which is just shown off the map. And if you get there early enough, weather spoons will be open. You can grab a breakfast before the, the main doors open. Um, it is advisable to take some food with you or get there early because there are some food outlets around the outside, but they get so busy so quickly. It is unbelievable. There'll be a lot of people there. Um, figures wise, you're talking anything from seven to 9,000 people visiting over a couple of days. That's a lot of people going to look at a lot of mowers. Before we get too excited about all the mowers and new machinery we're gonna look at, we need to have a little look about the Learning Live, right? Now this is an initiative that they run throughout the two days of Saltex. And there are, there's a GMA hub where you can get the information about Learning Live, or you can just have a look on their website like I've done. Or there's the seminar theatres around here, number one, number two, and number three. So they're all on there for you. You can go and take a look at those. And let me just run through a few things that are actually on them because you might not think that these seminars are for you. Well, there's something for everybody really because they're just talks given by industry experts, influencers, and basically anybody who works within the industry. You don't have to be at the top of your game to participate in these. You can just go along. There are so many like valuable things, you know, We've got, right, at the top of their game, UEFA Champions League final pitch quality support, right? That's way above anything I will ever achieve in my lifetime, but it's interesting to go and see. And also you'll see people going there to see these things. Famous groundsmen from Premier League clubs, etc. You'll see them around. Then you move on to something that's more sort of what I do, strategy for grassroots football. So sit down for 45 minutes or so, and we can sit there and we have a chat about this um, and what we're doing within the industry and the, the strategy to promote grassroots football. It's always a good thing to do. I've uh, actually starred another one in there. Look, there's the uh, this one I'll be looking at. Funding for grassroots football as well. So um, a closer look at the Football Foundation's strategy and the funding process that's helping to improve natural turf pitches at grassroots level. Now that's something I'm interested in because I've got a contracting business myself and if we can get funding to help people um, whose, whose pitches that we look after, then everything's gonna be great for them, isn't it really? The more information we have, the more information we can give them. So that's a great one to, to go and see for me. Um, there's things about running your own business, um, if you don't run your own business, you might be interested in this one where you can go along and negotiating your pay and perks, right? So negotiating your pay and perks. With a recent rise in the cost of living, this session offers advice on how to improve your work and pay conditions from an industry expert and HR point of view, right? So I'm sure that will be of interest to a lot of people in there. Now, the same person who's doing that is also running a jobs clinic. 
and the jobs clinic will be there uh, both days as well. You can be perfecting your CV, proactive job searching, doing well at job interviews, negotiating your pay and perks, and for employers, how to help interviewers choose the right person. So again, that runs there. You can even take your CV with you and people, there'll be somebody there to help you um, put your CV onto paper um, with a template, etc. So it's a really, really useful service and uh, something that you should all go and have a look at. Well, time to talk about machines then. Right, there's not much outside space at the NEC, so they've set up inside an eco village. It's a large open space, fenced off, and it's a great place to showcase your zero emissions electric equipment. Now, there's a a timetable of events and it's the same for both days so you haven't got to worry about missing anything and I'll just have a quick run through some of the things that are on there so first up we've got the Avant Techno um, lifts and hoists right they're great things they are they move them around lift the hoist up and down great fun to see then we move on to the uh, SGL systems they're the lighting systems that are used in stadiums um, to, to promote grass growth now you might think that these things don't really apply to what you do for, for a living or whatever, but they're fascinating to go and watch and to learn about because the, the people who, who use these things and, and run them, they know exactly how they work, what they do, all the parameters. They, they can explain so much to you. It's fascinating just to go and see what they actually do. Then after that, we've got move on to the mower side of things. We've got the uh, Campy all electric mower there and then one of my favorites here we go is the the uh, the uh, zero turn the mean green overton rival mower right it's got some really really funky wheels on the front there and if they do the demos where they go up and down the curbs and stuff you'll see how they work they fold down and collapse they are something else and they're, they're great mowing machines as well so they're in there and then i think when we go further through the day that's it we've got these robot mowers now Robot mowers are becoming a big thing, aren't they? Um, and gone are the days of putting a wire out and you have like a robot mower randomly bumping around into things as it's cutting grass. But it'll tell you here, this is the Cress RTK robot mower. Um, robot mowers without a boundary wire. So they're all GPS controlled and they'll do a demo and they'll show you exactly how that works and how to set one up. So fascinating stuff in itself and there's also a large area there for viewing so it's a big social space as well where you're likely to bump into people now we're on to the bulk of the show and here's the uh, largest display of mowers in the uk at least for a few days anyway there's so much machinery in there it's unreal um the main entrances are down here when you come in they hand out bags at the, the start. So if you grab a bag, you'll need it because as, as you're going around, there's so many catalogues, brochures, the odd freebie here and there, some calendars, beer mats, um, all bits and pieces, a lot of branding going on. Um, what I normally do is we come in and we just start to file round in order because it's so big that you'll come in and you'll walk round, go and meet your, your pal for a burger or something later on and either seen stuff that you haven't seen so you end up going around again in a bit of a haphazard way and believe me you can be there for two days and not see it all if you don't plan it out properly um, if you're just there on a limited sort of time scale just go around and look at the things you want um, I'll put some circles on my map or you can just download it on your phone and just see where you where you want to go and what you want to do um, or otherwise I'd suggest just starting at the front or at the back and working your way side to side and make sure you go and see each and every one. It's not just mower stands, there's loads of other people there um, selling sort of courses or offering courses um, or their services, whether that's grounds maintenance, there's spares companies and all that sort of thing. So it's really, really interesting. And you'll get to see loads and loads of people when you're walking around as well that work within the industry. If you're on social media, you should know lots of them. Um, we've got a big sort of community on social media haven't we and if you see me around come over and say hello i'll have a pocket full of stickers so you can have one of those as well and we'll have a chat i'm glad to see each and every one of you so anyway i'm going to get myself some sandwiches and some drinks together put them in the case and uh, i'll see you at Soltex.